Sharam. Thank you for tuning in to Sankhya Television, the first Hindu television station in Trinidad and Tobago, and your number one choice for cultural, inspirational, and spiritual programming. My name is Celine Jaisuri, and on today's episode of Eventful Awakening, the topic is Chaitra and Sampati Amavasya. Before I go in depth on that topic, I would like to make mention that on this day, Karmas also ends. So, what is Karmas? Karmas is a month within the Hindu calendar that is considered to be very inauspicious. It is sometimes known as Malmas in India and it is mostly observed and acknowledged by persons in Northern India. During this period, persons are encouraged to abstain from engaging in new tasks, starting new journeys, avoiding beginning construction of any kind, refrain from buying raw materials for building, and auspicious occasions such as marriages and housewarming ceremonies are prohibited. Again, this is because this period of karma is considered to be very unlucky and inauspicious. However, it is said that on the last day of karma, making donations would be fruitful. And it is recommended that such donations be given to persons in need and consist of food and clothing. So now we can get into the Amavasyas. Amavasya is a Sanskrit word which means dark moon lunar phase or there is no moon or no visible moon to be precise. So on this night, the moon is of course there, but because of its position, it is barely visible. In traditional Indian culture and beliefs, an Amavasya is considered to be a time of great power, and an Amavasya that is said to fall on a Monday is considered to be very auspicious. Women who are said to fast on these occasions would be sure to have children, and widowhood will be warded off. It is also believed that all desires would be fulfilled on this day through observing fast. Every Amavasya is very auspicious for worshipping our forefathers, and it is recommended that on this day, attention should be on performing the rites of Amavasya while putting any other duty to the back. On this day, Shrad is performed for our forefathers by Brahmins whose fathers would have passed on. Shrad refers to the ritual of worship and offerings done to the ancestors. Hinduism believes that the departed souls reach Pitrulok or the world of ancestors after their death. In this temporary world, they stay for a while until they get a new body to be reincarnated or move on. During this time, they would face hunger and thirst which can only be quenched through the offerings made with mantras or holy chants by their descendants from the earth. The Shrad ceremony is said to enable our ancestors and forefathers to escape sins, petrodosh, and several problems of life, and by performing that ceremony, such persons would be said to attain these blessings from the ancestors. This ceremony is also done for anonymous souls which have died and have nobody in their lineage to offer oblation. By doing this, it is said that persons would be able to give birth to good children without any mental or physical challenges. As mentioned before, Amavasya is a new moon or no moon day which occurs once every month. And Chaitra Amavasya falls within the month of Chaitra, which is the period of March to April. According to the Hindu calendar, this is the first Amavasya for the year. Chaitra Amavasya is considered to be very important for undertaking a variety of spiritual activities. Chaitra Amavasya Vrat is very popular among the Hindus and the deity to be worshipped on this day is Lord Vishnu. The day is marked by a ceremonial worship to Lord Vishnu and offering of food to crows and the poor is done, as this is said to reach ancestors and attain their blessings. The Garud Puran states that on this day, ancestors visit their descendants and if offered food by the descendants they become happy and bless their descendants with happiness peace and prosperity on the day of chaitra amavasya persons are recommended to have a holy dip as it is said to remove the sins of the individuals and ensure that persons obtain the blessings of gods for a life of prosperity and happiness persons who are said to be suffering from mental illnesses and grief it is recommended that they take a holy dip on the day of Chaitra Amavasya and perform Shiv Puja to attain peace and clarity of perception. As mentioned before, this day is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. However, prayers should be offered to Lord Shiva to enable persons to obtain peace. Within the month of March, Samvati Amavasya is also observed on the same day as Chaitra Amavasya. Soma is the synonymous word for moon. 
Moon has a very special importance in astrology as it governs our mind. Taurus originates in our mind and it is converted to action. And Moon is said to be inherently powerful to deliver positive and optimistic thoughts. It is said that persons with a weak Moon is said to be indecisive and pessimistic. Their mind does not rest on one single subject, so they become fickle and try to accomplish tasks unreasonably. The worship undertaken on the day of Samvati Amavasya and the offerings or donations given is known to remove the afflictions related to Moon and deliver inherent strength. Like Chaitra Amavasya, this day is said to bring peace to our ancestors. It is also recommended that on this day, a holy dip should be taken to wash away all sorrows and help places progress and prosper. The Peepal tree is considered to be very auspicious within Hinduism. And on the auspicious day of Samvati Amavasya, it is said that women tie a sacred string around that tree 108 times. Persons should also circumambulate that tree and apologize for known and unknown sins. Offerings of milk, sandal paste, Flowers and vermilion are also offered around the tree. Devotees sit under that tree and chant mantras to please God as well. Crows and the peepal tree are symbols of our forefathers. So water should be offered to the peepal tree on this day. And on this day, giving bread to crows is also said to be very auspicious. According to the Shastra, our forefathers come to our homes on Amavasya. So every person should donate according to his or her capability. On every Amavasya, five fruits should be given to a cow. After preparing food, the first bite should be offered to a cow before consuming the food yourself. The first bite offered to the cow should be given in the name of your forefathers. So the family would be blessed by that ancestor. The darkness of Samvati Amavasya transcends into a beautiful morning which gives us hope that all our sorrows will go away. It also signifies that only after absolute darkness there would be light, which basically translates that after absolute despair and sorrow, one will be able to attain happiness, peace and bliss. It is also believed that on this day, married women fast and pray for the long life of their husbands. Lord Shiva is also worshipped on the sea and offerings of milk and milk mixed with water are made to the Shiva Linga. Unmarried women who would want a good match for themselves should also keep a fast on this day. This day is also very auspicious for performing Pitra Tarpan, which is offering to the ancestors, as it is said to provide peace to their souls. Persons also suffering from Pitra Doge should also observe this fast as it frees them from it. And like Chaitra Amavasya, it is believed that observing fast on this day would enable persons to be rid of all their sorrows and their problems. And like most events within Hinduism, there is a legend behind it. So the legend behind Samvati Amavasya concerns a moneylender and his family. The moneylender had seven sons and one daughter, and a monk was said to visit his family very regularly. Each time he would visit, he would bless the moneylender's daughter's-in-law and not the moneylender's daughter. The daughter told the mother about this. The mother went and she confronted the monk, but he left quietly and did not reply. This really worried the mother, so she went to a pundit to question the reasoning behind this. The pundit responded by saying her daughter was destined to become a widow. So the girl's mother asked the pundit for a solution for this problem. He told her that there was a washerwoman on the island of Singhal, and if this woman agreed to apply cinder to the forehead of the girl, her fate would be reversed. So, of course, the mother sent the daughter and one of her sons to that woman. On the way to the island, they came across the seashore and began to wonder how to cross it. Sitting on a tree, they saw a vulture's nest with a male and female vulture and their babies. One day, while both vultures went to get food for the babies, they saw a snake coming to attack the babies. Now remember, the girl and her brother was there, still wondering how to cross the sea. So they were witnessing this whole event. She of course immediately jumped to help the baby vultures and save them from the attack. When the parents returned to the nest, they were very grateful. And as a token of their gratitude, they helped the girl and her brother get across the seashore to the washerwoman. 
So, she was now at her destination living with that washerwoman. After only a few months, it is said that the woman became very pleased and applied a cinder to the girl's forehead. And while returning back to her home, the girl observed Sambhati Amavasya. This therefore reversed her fate and she got married and lived happily ever after with her husband. Therefore, these events such as Sambhati and Chaitra Amavasya are very auspicious and very significant. And it encourages persons to pay obeisance to our forefathers because without them we would not be where we are today. These auspicious events also give persons that opportunity to rid ourselves of sin, illnesses and grievances that we may be carrying around. Thank <laughs> you.